I'm a bird, mother... I'm a bird! Assassin's Creed Shadows forced to change Yasuke's statue. Ubisoft admits the charts were right. What? No way. It's so crazy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Assassin's Creed Shadows just continues to take L after L after L, and they don't really know what to do with this game at this point. Now, apparently, the pure art statue, and if you guys remember this statue, it was featuring a Tory gate, which yeah. anybody who knows history knows that's probably not something you want to showcase, especially in a destroyed manner, considering what happened. But, uh, that, you know, I digress. Pure Arts is going to rework the Assassin's Creed Shadow statue featuring Yasuke in Naoe on a destroyed Tory gate after massive backlash. You've got to do better, Senator. Oh. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not too surprising considering that number one, they delayed the game. No I'm more amazed that someone came up with the idea, so nothing wrong. Someone approved the idea, so nothing wrong. Multiple people worked on the idea, so nothing wrong. Multiple people marketed this idea, so nothing wrong. How in that funnel of people you saw nothing wrong? Number two, they're trying to make it seem as if they're doing things to try to be more accurate to Japanese culture and history, especially when we all know that's not true. And number three, now apparently they're redesigning this statue because for some reason, some idiot over there didn't realize that having your two main characters hanging out on top of a destroyed gate is probably not the best idea, right? Like, just a little bit, just, just a smidge. Just a tiny bit. Like, why would you hang out on a destroyed Tory gate knowing the history of Japan? And, and I just, anyway, I, I feel like whoever their consultants are, because, you know, they have consultants. They've said this already. If you have Japanese consultants and they told you this is A-OK, -okay, no problem, you need to fire them. And you need to get brand new consultants. So anyway, guys, let's get into this video. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us Wait, out into that YouTube positive. algorithm. They literally have Ubisoft in Osaka. Yep. The culture center point of Japan. But hey, their consultants was a white guy who wrote a homoerotica fanfic and another person from Alaska. They literally could have just like asked their co-workers in Japan, just call them up. Or people did say, that's the dumbest shit I heard, but they went, mm, nah, we know better. So it says Pure Arts Designer for the Collector's Assassin's Creed Shadows figures that features Yasuke and Naoe on a destroyed one leg Tory gate announced it is reworking the design. The company posted to X, we recently released an insensitive design. We appreciate and have learned from the concerns brought to our attention and we apologize for the harm that this caused. No, you don't, bro. No, you don't. You guys knew exactly what you were doing at the end of the day, right? Like, they all knew what they were doing. You think they give a fuck about being sensitive to the Japanese community? No. They were hoping that they can do all of this shit and get away with it. Just like with the video game, right? Assassin's Creed Shadows was hoping that they can release the game and everybody was just going to eat it up because it was another Assassin's Creed game. They didn't think that people were going to give them this much. The gaming companies became so comfortable with people just supporting them blindly that they were like no way no way we can literally serve dog shit on a platter and they'll uh, gobble it out yeah i think the breaking point was the games getting worse while also getting more expensive yeah, yeah that's a huge like yo why the hell am i paying 70 dollars for this slop why that's the funny part they categorize them themselves as a quadruple a company right before they started tanking backlash over it sure they were expecting the west to be mad over yasuke because they would be like well you guys are saying this is historically accurate but it's not you know it'd be one thing if you would call it fake and a fantasy but you're saying it's historically accurate so we have it we have an issue we have a problem but they weren't expecting the japanese to get this angry that's where things how do you not expect japanese to be angry about it the madness that's happening around japanese people right now is like First the Assassin's Creed the thing, now the art drama on Twitter. And this is the first time I see like Japanese netizens being so outspoken online went south for them they tried to create this narrative and say well the japanese aren't actually angry it's just white people in the west that are using the google translate feature to pretend to be japanese and leave me 
Oh, okay, you have to be actually kind of on the brain dead side of the spectrum when you say that. There's so many Japanese that's... people even making videos. In the... No, no, no. That's a Japanese guy disguising as a white guy who's disguising as a Japanese guy. In comments, that's the that's the cope that they tried to sell you in the beginning. But that didn't quite work out because there was way too many Japanese YouTubers speaking out against the nonsense. So once they saw actual real Japanese people speaking out against it and they couldn't lie about it because, well, obviously, just look at them. They're clearly Japanese. Then they started to change the narrative and say, oh, well, we made a mistake and we'll fix it. Okay, sure you will. You're not going to fix anything. You're just going to try to band-aid it as much as possible with as little money invested as possible so you can release this game and try to achieve maximum profit, which we all know it's probably not going to happen. Especially then it said that uh, in response to an individual inquiring about pre-orders, Pure Art stated pre-orders had not been canceled and you'll receive an email soon with more information. For any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at support at Art. Wait, didn't they not so long ago said that they will be uh, refunding the pre-orders? Now they're saying they won't be? Like, they did say that they'll refund. Now they're not refunding it. Dot com. Now, back in September, the statue was blasted by X user bunch of numbers. As translated by Google, the user wrote, please spread the word. Assassin's Creed Shadows figures from Ubisoft, a famous Japanese hate and criminal company. A figuring of a destroyed Tory gate has been released, which is believed to be based on the one leg Tory gate that was destroyed in the Nagasaki atomic bombing. He added, I have never seen a one legged Tory other than the one destroyed by the American atomic bomb in Nagasaki. Now, again. This is a prime example of what happens when you have so many people working at Ubisoft trying to pretend as if they're experts, right? They're experts on Japanese culture. They're experts on Japanese history. These experts that work for these companies, let's be real. They're not experts, okay? Most well, of them are not. young college people mm -hmm. just fresh out of college. Most of them just go on their computers and their bosses say, hey, find me something that's going to fit with this. All of this is even more wilder, the fact that, yes, they do have an office in Osaka. They still have a branch there. Yo, that's wild, bro. Yeah, yeah. What's what's the positions open? Get out. <laughs> Get out, man. Get out. This statue of Yasuke in Naoe that'll be very Japanese looking. And the and the uh, straight out of college person is like, all right, I got you. I'm going to Google it. I'll be right back. They go and they Google a whole bunch of stuff, and they're like, I got it. Let's use a Tory gate. Here's a picture for one, and it's a halfway destroyed one. It's like, bro, what are you doing? And then what makes it worse is that the people at the top, they're like, yep, this looks Japanese enough. Let's roll with it. That's really Ooh. what it is. I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> it's genuinely what it is. These motherfuckers don't know what they're doing. They have no idea about the history and the culture of Japan. They don't care. They only want to do the bare minimum. They want it to look like they care, right? It's not about actually caring. It's a but that's the thing, they feel that actually caring and they feel that looking like they're caring. It's about looking like you care. Just like most of the Wokies on Twitter, you think most of them give a fuck about Palestine or Israel or whatever? No, they only genuinely want it to look like they care. It's the perception of virtue without actually being virtuous because it's the easiest form of virtue that you can achieve in modern day. Just pretend like it on Twitter. So you got a side-by-side -side comparison picture here where the on only that. one that's known I to, I guess, that, to, to Japan, according to this commenter, is the one destroyed in the Nagasaki bomb. And it, this is the real-life one here on the right side. So you can see they basically ripped it and made it uh, for the statue. Not surprising. With Shin bringing attention to the figure, many others roasted Ubisoft for it. YouTuber Razor Fist wrote on X, Ubisoft including an artifact from a nuclear detonation, a one-sided arc, in what promises to be the biggest bomb of the year. God is a stand-up comedian. <laughs> That's true. This Whoa. is going to be one of the biggest bombs in the Assassin's Creed franchise, and ironically so, they're trying to release a statue from one of the biggest bombs ever known to man uh, released on human beings. It's quite sad. Not oh. Haru47 wrote, Ubisoft just keeps dig digging themselves deeper into the shitter. Yep. Then it says that Ub YouTuber Vera Dark posted, Ubisoft have spent a half a billion dollars on the game's budget before, so they either hired uh, dollar store historians or are intentionally disrespecting Japan. There's no shot this many mistakes have been made uh it's look you can hire a dollar store consultant or you can actually utilize the branch you have yeah so yes i absolutely refuse to believe that this was made in mistake so 
Every time they say it, it's an error, that's bullshit. Definitely the first one. It's definitely Ooh. the first one. Uh, I think it's a little bit of the second one because, like I said in, in the video earlier, they don't care about Japan. They don't care about the history. They don't care about the culture, right? Ultimately, for them, they just want it to look like they care. But I think it is mainly this. I think what it is is that developers now have taken the load off of themselves because they used to be the ones that had to do the research. They used to be the ones that had to look into things so that when they were creating things, they would have to make sure it was authentic as possible. They used to do that work. Now, they've gotten so fucking lazy that they've passed off that work now to consultants that are grifters literal grifters they are liars they are con otters and they are there only to try to get the money because they know it's easy right now they have sold this idea to these AAA studios that they are the ones that are the experts hire them instead of utilizing your own developers to do their own research and look into it themselves no 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 just hire them so that's what they're doing. They're hiring these fucking fake historians. They're hiring these fake consultants. They're hiring all these people that don't know what they're doing. So when these people come in and say, yep, we did the research here. Here's the gate that you were asking for. You think that everything is good because they did the work. You don't even bother double checking or triple checking. You have no idea. So the I wonder if Ubisoft is trying to uh, approach it with. Let's see how much. Yes, we can do and just you know fuck up and ask for forgiveness afterward i think they were just very egotistical and think that everyone will not care the laziness and the passing off of work unfortunately is really showing itself because you have all these mistakes being made supposed mistakes anyway being made on one singular project that is impossible if you have all these consultants it's literally impossible so the only way it's happening is if you are purposely doing it which maybe you never know or the people you hired as experts they really don't know shit so anyway guys thank know. you so much for watching this video nope. hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i will greatly appreciate the hey, video oh yeah ubisoft is tone deaf and they're tone deaf intentionally they don't care they don't want to care and they sure as hell do not care about japan or representing them there they just don't care they want the money with providing slop. That's the end of the story.